Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Man, this is the first video I've recorded of this in a long time. It's been like three weeks. So, but here we are. My Zen Garden is pretty much empty, but I have all my upgrades here. Chocolate? I don't remember what that is. <laughs> yeah, so we can go to other gardens and look at stuff right here. This is the Tree of Wisdom, which if you plant enough of it, you can get it up to like... It'll give you clues the more you plant it, and eventually get it to like 100, and that's one of the achievements, actually, is to get it to 100. So this is all the achievements so far. I've got a streak of 10 and 1 on Endless now. Get the Golden Sunflower Trophy. I'm not sure offhand even how you do that, because I completed the Adventure Mode a second time off-screen. Which, believe me, took a lot of time between that and Fantasy Online. Get a streak of 15 and Face Breaker. Uh, I haven't gotten this one yet, 8,000 sun, holy crap, jeez. But, uh, yeah, I did that one, that one. That's pretty much all I did. No fungus among us. <laughs> 20 waves of pure zombie ferocity. Beat all 20 minigames, we'll do that eventually. Grow the tree to 100 feet. Enable mustache mode. Anyway, if you scroll down far enough here on the achievement screen, I mean, like, really far. I don't think there actually are that many achievements, but you down here, and there's China down at the bottom, so that's really funny. But, yeah. It's not too far to scroll, but it's still something worth noting. Um, I've seen in some versions of the game that there. Um, <laughs> that one of the achievements that well, actually was seeing China. So let's go to the mini games now. These have all been played already, actually. It wasn't me. I'm pleading the fifth, but well, we can still play them. So, nothing wrong there. Nothing doing. <clears throat> so this one's called It's Raining. I'm gonna have to figure this out on my own. Because I'm not sure offhand what this is. It looks like they just hand you flowers, they fall out of the sky. So it's really no different than one of the multiple of five levels where it's like, you know, where you just have to take what they give you and go with it. I love how you can see the raindrops landing in the pool. That is so realistic. What am I going to do with that? Jeez. Doom, 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 doom. It's shooting. There must be something. Looks like it might be down there. It is down there. Melon Palta will gladly take that. <clears throat> well, if I get another garlic, there's not going to be much for me to do with it. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long you can let these sit here before they, you know... I'm guessing they would last for quite a while, though. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. If that thing disappears, though, I'm going to be pretty... Oh, no, 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 it's flashing. Um, okay, we'll just put this right here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, what am I going to do with that, man? You know, freaking money. Something about the way those sun, those flowers look. It, like, it looks like this one picture of Johnny Five I drew this time. So when I was real little, I was a big fan of Short Circuit, and I still am, actually. But this one day, I tried to do, do this drawing of Johnny Five, and... It's like, I never finished it, and so, like, I got his head done, and it was really, really good. It looked exactly like him. But for some reason, I just never finished the drawing, and all I had was his head there on that sheet of paper. So, and, and yet I remember having this drawing in my possession for, like, a really long period of time. And it's like, well, why would I have had the drawing in my possession for such a long period of time if I didn't finish it? It's because I always thought that I would finish it eventually, and of course I never did, because I'm such a procrastinator. With emphasis on the word ass. Uh, start putting stuff on the same row. Like, see, this should be on this row, and this should be on that row, but, uh, I don't know. Mmm, this right there is good. And, and, oh, this is good. Um... Where do we want to put this? Maybe right here? Peter on this row here. Keep things solid, keep things... Because this row is going to be facing a lot of extra pressure from the monsters in the first row carrying over to it, so... 
Jeez, could you give me something to get rid of the fog? That would be nice. Mm -hmm. You guys just take what they give you, though. That's pretty much how the game works. Take a dump again. Smells like cooking, piss, and shit. Everything. Someone also told me that, um... There's something else that blows away fog. It's actually the, the stumps that where when you put peas through them they turn into fireballs. Well, supposedly those take out fog too. I never knew that. But that's pretty cool if it's true. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I mean, that's a nice little defense going here. It's not, you know, your conventional oven. Well, it's, a defense isn't an oven last time I checked, but, you know, then again, I guess if you have a vivid imagination enough, it could be. And we got a long way to go on this board, too. I mean, look at this. It's only a fourth of the way through down there. Jeez. There's lots of money to pick up. Another one of these. I guess we'll put this here in case a balloon zombie comes on that rope. And we can get some damage done to zombies before they get to the garlic. What am I doing? Kelp. We'll take the kelp. Hmm. This is turning out to be a boring, boring level. Cause I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't think I've ever actually sung along to this music. Cause it's kinda slow, but that makes sense. Cause it's a night level. I shouldn't have done that. Well, actually, that's good that I at least put it in front of the garlic so I don't have two rows of zombies coming after that. If I can get a pumpkin, we'll put it around that as soon as possible. Nope, I missed some money. It was over there. Jeez. Who's getting eaten? Oh. Magnet. These are actually a lot more useful than I give them credit for. If I could get a lily pad, I'd put this out a little further. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll put it right here. Um, you know, I don't want to take a chance. I don't know if the magnet reaches that far. I think it probably does. Yeah. Keep this tenth row going here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It's singing is so bad. It is not badass. It's anything but. Jeez, we don't have much going on on row three here, do we? Shoot. I don't know how that works. Wish I had another lily pad and I put it right there, but no. What is this? You're gonna take my cactus away now? Here, how about this? Jeez, he couldn't even eat that thing. Well, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, well. That seems to be working out pretty well. I go again, forgetting to pick up my money. Uh, let's, uh, let's shoot. I guess as long as you're dragging it around the screen, it's <laughs> you can use it whenever you want. You can hold on to it as long as you want. Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. I still need to get something else going on in row 3 here, though. Oh, this is interesting. Um, maybe we'll put it over here since we can't really see what's going on there. You ever sometimes wish that you could, like, move plants, like, switch their places? That should be a power-up in the sequel if they ever make a sequel. Let's make a power-up where you can, like, dig up a plant and move it somewhere else. Should have put that on row three. We'll put this on row three. Here we go. <laughs> Haven't got much use out of that magnet yet. Ooh. Yeah, take that. Fine. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, just a few minutes ago, actually, before I recorded this video, the composer of the music for this game actually tweeted at me. Somebody sent her a tweet and told her about my video, apparently, about my video fighting the boss. Edgar Zomboss, and she tweeted at me and said she liked the video, so... <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's a huge honor, actually. Alright, better put that up. Because I like, you know, I always worry about, you know, the whole copyright thing that goes on all the time with these... <coughs> you know, with the whole video game thing on YouTube and all, and so... It's kind of cool just knowing that someone sees a video like that and approves of it, you know? It doesn't feel... I mean, I was, I've been looking around on the internet trying to find, like, sites that, where I could see, like, if the sales of this game have increased in any way, because I've got tons of people telling me they've downloaded this game because of my videos, and I just think that's awesome. I mean, I have almost received 30 messages saying that, and that's just the people who told me that. There's more people out there who probably have done it who haven't told me that they did it. Let's do that. Threw butter on that guy's head? You're ridiculous, man. Where would this be most well spent? I'm gonna put it in front of a chomper. That kind of defeats the purpose of the chomper being there. Not right there. That was stupid, too, but what else are you gonna do? So you pretty much got an anti- I'm not watching for my money, man. Jeez. Marigolds right there, like, I can't really do anything with that. <clears throat> I guess I could remove this. I hate to remove a corn pole, though. Those things are too much fun, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. Empty spot. Finally, we can put out... Oh, oh, what was that? I did actually see the Yeti zombie as I was playing through my second time. He only shows up on the level where it's raining, and it's dark, and all you can see is, like, you have to wait till the lightning strikes to see what you're doing. That level. That's when he shows up. At least that's the only time, that's when he showed up for me. I'm not saying that's the only time he could, but that's just when he showed up for me. I, I would figure if it's a zombie that's really hard to find, it's probably on a level like that, he's gonna be where he shows up. So, <laughs> but I did see him. And when you kill him, he drops like $3,000, so it's really cool. Definitely could have used that sooner. I should have put it around the other one, actually. <laughs> Give me a football player on row 5, that would be great. <laughs> oh, you can see the hat I made, too. That's the hat I made for, <laughs> for the lead zombie. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what I was doing. Is he gonna get to the mushroom? Jeez. Oh shoot, I'm not using my stuff, man. Here, eat that. <clears throat> God, for that magnet. Oh, I should put that somewhere. You know what? I think we're pretty much done here, though. How long did that take? That feels like that must have taken at least 10 minutes. So I have to assume the original prize would have been $1,000 for finishing that. So, that's, uh, it's raining seas. Oh, I see he hasn't finished all of them. Okay, great. The ghoul, I'm not very good at this one for some reason. I just don't see it. Or is this, this might not be that one. Okay, this one might not be... Okay, yeah, I can do this one. Alright, fine, yeah, yeah, we can do this one. <clears throat> and as you see, if you match up, you know, you get sun for when you match. Or something. Something. <laughs> yeah, and the more sun you get, the more you can put stuff out there. Because, like, you have to constantly worry about zombies at the same time as you're playing the game. Like, most of the time when I play this, I don't even pay attention to the zombies. I just keep making matches. And usually things work out. You know, there will always be something, you know, to... I don't know why, but sometimes I just completely brain fart on this game. Any version of it that I've ever played, it always happens. Sometimes you just don't see anything, and it's like, Ugh, what do I do, you know? Yeah, you gotta go pretty slow. 
basically the goal, if you didn't know, is to make 75 matches, as you can see down there. So that's all we really have to do. It's just a matter of, uh, doing it. And, uh, I'm not sure, uh, I guess this upgrade all your puff shrooms into fume shrooms, that makes sense. Well, I'd rather wait and turn all the repeaters into, or I mean the peachers into repeaters. That would make more sense. And I guess if they eat a plant, it just gets replaced with... I'm not sure how you could die on this, actually, but... Well, I should be looking for a match, I guess, but... I'm sitting here talking, not playing the game. Jeez. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, there was no match to be made there. Okay. No wonder it was so hard to find one. Usually what I do when I play a game like this is I try to match up several of the same thing just to get it off of this, like, try to get rid of all the stars, and that way there's only, there's less types, there's fewer types of different flowers on the screen remaining, which makes it easier to make a match with them. And then you just go from there. Those, those, ma uh, those magnet mushrooms are really good. They're so underrated. Underrated by me. Obviously, sun shrooms are very underrated by me, too, because a lot of people told me those would be really useful, and I don't know why I never considered how useful they could be. They ate one of my plants! Oh, so that means I can't make matches with it anymore. So yeah, I guess if they eat your plants, it makes it harder to make a match, because now that square is not going to have a plant there. So technically, I guess the game ends if they get to the other side. It's the same as it normally would, you know. Oh no, no it just occurred to me that the composer lady um, heard me singing Take a Dump on the Toilet or Boss music. That must have been real fun. Jeez, I didn't even think about that till just now. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, I'm sure that's every composer's biggest dream, is to hear someone singing toilet-based lyrics to their beautiful music. Hey, can you imagine what Beethoven would say? I'd be like, Taking a dump, taking a dump, taking a dump, I'm on the can, taking a dump, taking a dump, I'm on the can, taking a dump, I'm sitting on the can, I'm sitting on the can. Never mind. That one's not so bad, but there's a version of it later on where you have to, um, do them like, they have to move them in, uh, a circular pattern with the four around them, so. Invisigool, this one's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, hey, where's the zombies? I don't know. Okay. So, basically, it's a standard issue level. But you just won't be able to see the zombies, that's all. So It's not too bad. I, I, mean, I had a lucky guess there with where the first one was. Now, anytime you want to see if there are any zombies on the screen, you plant this one out here. And it'll freeze. And you can see them then. But um, I'm just going to wait until I have a few more options here. Get my rows filled up and then see where we stand. Pretty sure it's just like a normal level, they're just putting out one at a time for now. Ooh. <laughs> okay, something got butterfied out there. Okay, there's our second mushroom. I'll put out this one. Okay, so we only have one, and it's right there. So that's good. Oh, we got another one coming here. Another lucky placement of a plant, obviously. <laughs> Squash, lots of squash. Maybe we should just say to hell with the pool. And just put two squash on it and just worry about the land for now. The problem is if I did that, a bunch of lily pads would come out and I'd have to play them in front of the squash and then they wouldn't serve their purpose anymore. Unless... Hmm. I'm thinking... <laughs> Stop thinking and start planting, I think is more like it. <laughs> I love how I can see their head after it falls off. So your invisibility is over! Well, 
you think we got enough squash here? I changed my mind about the pool level. I'm gonna treat it like any other row. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Uh, we need to do something about that. Dude, he killed it. Uh, I wasted a squash. And I wasted the mushroom now, because I, I wasn't looking at what else was on the screen. Mm. Plus, I'm not sure if the ice rooms affect the zombies in the pool. I wasn't really thinking about that. <laughs> uh, I want to put a walnut right here, but... Who knows how long this level's gonna be, and I don't want to have ten rows of plants with a walnut back here. You know. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. The mere line, whatever it is, just oozes scariness, doesn't it? You know, it's like something in my house, and I'm going to take a knife to it, whatever it is. I didn't mean to do that, I was trying to put it on row two. <laughs> There's butter around my head. Gulp. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. Here it goes. There were two there. Okay, I guess that wasn't paying very good attention. This may be harder than I thought, I don't know. Let's go ahead and use the squash. This is harder than I remember. I don't, I don't remember having much trouble with any of these. But they all prove to be a challenge in their own unique little way. Because <laughs> it's still fun, even though you can't see them. It's like a nice little twist on the game. I mean, it's not like, you know, if you made the ghosts invisible in Pac-Man, for example. That wouldn't be fun. That would just be dickish. And we need to see, you know what, I'm going to start putting down my walnuts here, and I'll put squash behind them, and we'll save that on them. <laughs> the lily pads are going to tell, you know, quite a bit about what our situation is on the water now, based on how much they get eaten. Needed some extra protection on that row two for a while. There, that's better. Something's like right in front of that corn pole. No. <clears throat> oh, he was hitting a dead body. Never mind. <laughs> that row two is. Oh, jeez, there's a zomboni. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good lord, how did I not see that? Oh my god, a dolphin zombie now? That was in row three, so I'm gonna put a squash there. Ugh, yeah, you get in the water. <laughs> oh boy. This could go bad real quick. Um, was that another dolphin zombie? I think it was. Yeesh. Ah, uh, we'll put a walnut here. Walnuts are even better on the water than they are on land, just because of how much, just because of how they force the underwater zombies to actually come up to eat them. You know, and that makes them vulnerable. We need more protection on the first row here. Fortunately, they don't overwhelm you with stuff. Oh, man, this is scary. I can't see what I'm doing, man. Like, they're gonna eat me. Oh no! Destroyed my walnut. Bastard. How are we doing on row one here? We need to squash. You just gotta pay attention to where the projectiles stop and then you know how bad you're doing. Oh well, this isn't as bad as I thought. Here. Oh, let's put another one out. Lord Vader demands an update on the pursuit. I shall assume full responsibility for losing them, and apologize to Lord Vader. So many squash. So many squash, man. Let's 
keep the water protected. <laughs> We're pretty good now, it looks like, but uh, still a little scared though. You know that Scream guy is just waiting around the corner. You know, I still haven't seen Scream 4. I was actually going to go to the movies tonight. And uh, I never did, but I watched some previews, and I saw some really good previews. The, uh, the one about the robot boxing, that one looks... That was the one I was going to go see, actually. It's called Something Steel. Um, and I was so sure that's the one I wanted to see until I started watching some of the other ones. There's this one about... There's one called Courageous or something. It's about a bunch of football. No, it's about a bunch of dads or something. And then there's this other one called Moneyball. It's about a guy who recruits a baseball team using some weird algorithm that nobody's ever thought of. Like picks players based on certain qualities they have that nobody considers or something. I don't know. I mean, I always like. I always had a soft spot for sports movies, I don't know. It's crazy, because I don't like to watch sports at all, but I love sports movies. Where, like, you know, at the end, of the, everybody wins, and everybody hugs each other, and they play all this victorious music, and they make you cry and shit, you know? I guess I'm just... Ooh, I'm yawning and stretching. <laughs> Where in the world did that money drop from? Is that a zombie right there? Jeez. It's been one of them dolphin fucks. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I just love using that word sometimes. When you totally don't expect it or something. Oh, no, we got one on row three. If I had a lily pad, I could squash him with a squash, but it's not gonna work because I don't have anything to put it on. Oh, well, we're gonna have to deal. Gonna have to deal and just play it real. Oh, no. I don't know why he's not eating. Oh, he must be. Uh, 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 shoot. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Go ahead, go ahead. There you go. <laughs> what? We're not done yet? What? Oh, jeez, 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 man. That's... Holy crap. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? I couldn't see him because the ice room doesn't show those ones. I forgot all about that. Man, okay, well, this video is getting a little long here, so. But hey, it's Saturday, so. Guys, go out, have fun, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. So, take care.